Welcome to Bite Further. In today's video, you'll learn how to fix an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus that won't factory reset. When your iPhone 7 is experiencing tricky problems with its functionality or you want to sell, trade in or give away, you'll want to reset it to factory settings after backing up data. The well-known method is to go to the settings app and tap erase all content and settings. If your iPhone 7 won't factory reset, this can be due to system glitch, unstable network, outdated iOS, forgotten passcode or Apple ID password, hardware problems, etc. Maybe the iPhone 7 won't allow you to factory reset. Perhaps the factory reset process hangs and doesn't go on for a long time. Whatever the case, there are a myriad of fixes out there to solve the problems so that you can securely erase data and restore iPhone 7 to factory settings. Now, keep watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a like or a super thanks if you think this video is good and helps. Now, let's start. Step 1. Force iPhone 7 to restart. This step intends to force the device to shut down and then turn it back on. If you can't factory reset iPhone 7 because the erase option doesn't respond or the process is stuck, try performing a force restart. It helps refresh the system and remove the temporary file cache and bugs that cause factory reset issues. To do that, here's the tutorial. Press and hold both the volume down and power keys together for around 15 seconds. If the power off slider shows up, ignore it and still keep holding both buttons. When the Apple logo shows up, release the buttons and wait for the screen to boot up. Then, go to Settings app, tap General, tap Transfer or Reset iPhone, and tap Erase All Content and Settings. Complete the on-screen instructions and see if you can get an iPhone 7 back to factory settings now. Step 2. Ensure iPhone 7 has a stable Wi-Fi network and enough power. A smooth factory reset process relies on stable Wi-Fi connection and sufficient battery power. If you can't reset iPhone 7 to factory settings because it won't start or it gets stuck midway, plug the device into a power source. Then, connect the device to a Wi-Fi network with strong signals if you use cellular data before. If a wireless network is connected, disconnect it for a white then reconnect. Alright, tap Erase option in the Settings app again to test if your iPhone 7 allows you to factory reset it now. Step 3. See if a recent update is released. Running a too old iOS might prevent you from factory resetting your iPhone 7. The system could lack necessary firmware support or have reset mechanism limitations so that you can't do the reset as expected. So, upgrade the old iOS before heading to wipe clean iPhone 7 and permanently delete all data. To do that, here's the tutorial. Go to Settings. Tap General. Choose Software Update. It'll start checking if Apple has released a recent iOS update. If there is, just follow the on-screen instructions to download and install the latest iOS into your iPhone 7. After the update, attempt to do a factory reset again. If the old iOS is the cause, you should now manage to reset iPhone 7 to the hello screen. Step 4. Disable Find My Feature and Sign Out of iCloud. Is the Find My Feature enabled on your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus? If yes, this setting might be the reason why you're unable to factory reset iPhone 7. It's a security configuration designed to deter unauthorized device reset. If you're the phone owner, just turn it off. Here's the tutorial. Go to Settings, tap your name, choose iCloud, and select Find My iPhone. Tap Toggle to turn off Find My iPhone. When prompted, enter the Apple ID password to disable this feature. Aside from Find My feature, sign out iCloud to confirm the reset is authorized. Here's the tutorial. Go to Settings, tap your name, scroll all the way down and choose Sign Out option. When prompted, enter the Apple ID password to continue. Now, you should be able to bring iPhone 7 back to its factory settings. Step 5. Restore iPhone 7 to factory settings in recovery mode. Maybe the screen is totally frozen or unresponsive so that your iPhone 7 will not restore to factory settings. Worry not, as there are still other ways to reset an iPhone 7 and wipe all data. The first method is to put the device into recovery mode and use a computer to perform a factory reset. To try this official method, here's the tutorial. On a Windows PC or Mac computer, open Apple Devices app, iTunes, or Finder. If you don't have one, just get one of them at the official website. Then, grab a USB cable to attach your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus to the computer. 
Next, on your phone, press and hold the volume down and power button together until you see the recovery mode with a laptop and cable on a black screen. Feel free to try a few more times if you fail. Once done, keep your iPhone 7 connected and head to the computer. There should be a dialog box showing up with update and restore buttons. To let iPhone 7 reset to factory settings, move the mouse cursor and choose the restore option. Then, all that's left to do is to complete the following instructions and wait for the process to end. If you don't have a computer to factory reset iPhone 7 or this method doesn't work for you, move to the next step. Step 6. Erase iPhone's data remotely in iCloud.com. Another alternative way to when you can't reset iPhone 7 in settings is going through iCloud. After you've logged in iCloud on your iPhone 7 with Find My Feature enabled, you can easily locate the device and erase everything on it using a browser. This is helpful if your iPhone 7 won't reset to factory settings due to the buttons not working. To do that, here's the tutorial. Launch any browser on any device and go to iCloud.com. Key in iPhone 7's Apple ID and password to sign in. Once entered iCloud's homepage, Scroll down to find and choose find my green icon. In the next page, choose the name of your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus. Choose erase this device, select erase to confirm, and wait for the erase process to finish. Step 7. Visit the local Apple store. Hardware problems are also the possible reasons why you cannot reset iPhone 7 to the factory settings. The basic thing you can do is to check if there is any visible physical damage, cracks, corrosions, or water leakage on your iPhone 7. If so, the device needs servicing and just take it to the local store to repair. If no, the expert there can also help you safely erase photos, videos, contacts, messages, call history, and other data from the device. That's all for how to fix an iPhone 7 that won't factory reset. If you find this video helpful, please buy a super thanks for this video and give this video a like. Your support means a lot to us to deliver more useful videos to help those in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.